Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name is Jimmy, and today we'll take a look at some more things that you should try on your Samsung Galaxy device. Now this is essentially part two because part one right here, which is things to try in your Samsung Galaxy device, the views are over 3.8 times higher than usual. It got over 80,000 views with the YouTube recommendations quite high as well. So because this one was received so well, I'd have to create a part two of things you should try on your Samsung Galaxy device. So we'll start this video off by heading inside of Samsung Galaxy Notes because it got a little bit of a facelift with Samsung One UI 6.1.1 or Samsung One UI 6.1. And when you're inside of your pen mode right over here, which means that you are about to write, all you'd have to do is swipe on over here and you have a couple little icons. So down over here, you have cleanup handwriting and you also have your handwriting help. So this is the one that we're gonna talk about for this feature here. So you tap on handwriting help, you go inside of settings and you just wanna turn on all three of these toggles, which a smart guideline will actually come as you start writing. It's going to align all of your letters and fix the shape of the letters as well. So if we just do something very simple right here, you can see that as I am writing, it, a little guideline came and it brought all of my letters down to exactly where I started to write. You know, so if I start writing this right here and my letters aren't really perfect, I'm not on the line, uh, pretty much now what's gonna happen is everything will come into line. So if you are somebody who likes to write with, you know, Samsung Galaxy Notes, then this is something that's gonna definitely help you out because it's going to just keep everything in line with whatever you are doing. Now, if you are writing a bunch and let's say that you wanted to just erase a few of your letters and such, you can see that I'm still inside of my pen mode. I'm not on the eraser. So if I go back to the pen mode, all you'd have to do to erase any of these letters is if you press and hold on the S Pen button, it'll actually just activate the eraser for you. So this way you'd be able to erase everything that is pretty much line by line. Or what you can do is you can just tap over here. You can either do a big eraser area, you can do the stroke erase, or you could do erase all handwriting. Feature number two, this is one that's built inside of the Samsung Gallery. Now, sometimes when you take a look at really any of your photos and you might think that you want to edit your photo, you might be thinking of hitting on the edit button or going over here and you know tapping on those three little dots. But what you can actually do with any photo is just simply swipe up. And what you'll get is simple, quick edit options right there on your photo. And these options will actually change depending on what photo you look at. So this one has the option to do live effect. So for live effect, all that's gonna happen is it might kind of maybe bring this forward a little bit, move the background a little bit. So now you're getting a little bit of a live effect and you can actually save this as a quick little video. And so this is gonna save probably as like seven seconds or five seconds of a little quick clip that just came from this random photo that you took. And this right here is the end result. So this one ends up to be seven seconds long. Now just to take a look at two more photos just to show you that there are other options that pop up. It just depends on what image you're taking a look at. So for this one here, if you swipe up, this one's gonna give me the options of live effect. Here's background blur, cause there is a lot of background to it. Somebody is up close, so I'll be able to change the blur effect as if I took a photo in portrait mode, but I actually didn't. Uh, here's long exposure and also remaster. So for the background blur, again, this is after the fact. This is me just taking the photo as a regular shot. And this is the original shot. Now I can actually add in, if I want it to be a portrait mode, I can actually do it after the fact with that quick little settings, again, just by swiping up. Now I'm curious with this little shot here, this is a screenshot, you know, brand new Lincoln Park member. So swiped on up and here's the options here. We have live effect, here's background blur. We also have remove more year and as well as remaster. Feature number three, we'll head inside of the calculator. Now inside the calculator, maybe this is all you have used or maybe you have also even went into the conversions. Now, when it comes down to this conversion area, maybe you never went all the way over to the right-hand side for the option for tip. So the next time you're out, you're having dinner, maybe the receipt doesn't really show, you know, all the other tip options. Let's say that your meal was $54. Now, if you want to tip, let's say at 18%, that means the tip amount is $9.72, bringing the total to $63.72. Now, maybe you wanted to split it between your college buddies or maybe a date where both of you really just want to pull out your cards or you just want to go halvesies. You just tap here, you can bring it down to two, and now you have how much it would be for the regular receipt you know, or your meal with the tip for each of you. So it's $31.86. That is what you will both bring out. Now, if you have more friends, you have a party going on, a bunch of college friends, you know, trying to save money and all just kind of split the whole bill. Maybe you're splitting the drinks. Here you go. You got 21, 24 each for all three of you. Again, if it's only just you, then you're able to figure it out right there as well. The maximum amount of people that you can put in there is 99 people. <laughs> 
Feature number four, this is how you're able to unlock your Samsung Galaxy phone much quicker when it comes down to your fingerprint. And no, I am not creating multiple accounts of the same thumb. What you're technically doing is adding in more scans for the phone to go through to find the correct scan to get it unlocked. So if there is more images or more scans of something, it's gonna take longer for it to actually find the right one and get it unlocked. But if you were to set up one profile with two thumbs, that means that you have two thumbs that are saved in the phone and there's less images or scans of it, which means that it's going through less image to unlock quicker. So once I have explained that before, people kind of understood what was really happening because every single time that you tap your phone screen, what it's doing is it's saving the scan of what you just did. So if you're trying to make several profiles of the same thumb, you're gonna end up with 36 images of your right thumb. For me, I'm only gonna end up with six images of the left, six of the right, they go through it super quick, and then it unlocks much faster. So underneath fingerprints, you can see that I had one added there, so I'm gonna go here and unlock. So there it is, that's the fingerprint number one, and I can even check my added fingerprints. So maybe if you wanted to delete one and you couldn't remember exactly which profile was your index or left thumb or right thumb or spouse, this is how you're able to check it. If I put my thumb right there, you can see that it said fingerprint one. If I put my thumb there, fingerprint one. It's because both of them are underneath this one profile. Now, when you want to add in your fingerprint to get this done and you want to register it, I'd probably state just to do like half of them with the right thumb and then the other half with the left. So you can just start and you can do like 50%. Now, the best way to get this done is I always like to lay it on a table and I put my thumb on it first. Then I actually pick it up and then I touch it just because you never know how you're going to touch your phone when you actually set up your fingerprint. So as I keep on rotating, I'm going to do that. I'm pretty much halfway done. So now I also need to get another one done, you know, if I am, you know, sitting at a table, my phone is on the table, or let's say I'm sitting on a chair, the phone's on the table, uh, or a desk. And so pretty much this is how you're able to get it all set up with your left and right. But I am right-handed, so this very last one, I'm actually just gonna save it for my right-handed because it is dominant that way. So pretty much you can see here that it's almost 50% left, 50% right, and you just hit on done, and there is fingerprint two. And the nice thing about it is that I have two profiles, and if I go through and I check the fingerprints again, what's gonna happen is it's gonna go through it and it's gonna find which one it thinks it is. So with the one that I just tapped here, it found it underneath fingerprint two. But pretty much, like I said from before, if you wanted to, you can just keep it as only one fingerprint. That's the best thing to do. I'm just trying to see exactly which one it's actually pulling. And actually what is happening is from what is most recent is actually being the one that is most accurate. So because this fingerprint is kind of old on the very top, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go on the very top. I'm going to remove that one because it seems like this fingerprint too that I just set up with both of my left and right thumbs were actually picking up much quicker. So now that's the one that I'll use because I can easily unlock my phone with any of these two thumbs. So now if I'm sitting right here and I tap there, boom, unlock. If I go right over here, boom, unlock. And you can just see how much quicker it is because it is not going through all of those 30 or 20 or 40 scans. It's only going through 12 total, six for the left and six for the right. Feature number five, this is inside of the gallery. Now I've covered this in the past before, actually for the last several years, but with Samsung One UI 6.1.1 and Samsung One UI 6.1, it actually unlocked more features. This one was in a past video, very recent. It was underneath like my tips and tricks or hidden features of Samsung One UI 6.1.1, but not everybody watched that video. So how you're able to unlock it here is you tap on your little sandwich icon on the bottom, you go inside of settings, and then you go down to your about gallery. Now you can see that Gallery Labs is already here, but this is how you unlock it. You go to About Gallery, and then you just literally tap on that version number like 10 or 12 times. When you tap on this version number, eventually it's going to state that you have unlocked Gallery Labs. Once you unlock Gallery Labs, you have these two options right here where you can create a slideshow off of these selected images. And there's also quite a few other things that I have shown off also. There's a video where I talked about all of the awesome features of your gallery that you never knew, and that's actually where you can find a bunch of these. So right here, this is where you can do slideshow with selected items and slideshow auto repeat with playback. Now, once you turn these two on right here, what you wanna do is you wanna fully close out of your gallery you go back inside of gallery and then this is where you know you can select some images so if we select a couple of those we select that one 
Maybe I also select this one as well too. Now on the bottom right hand side, what will pop up now, which wasn't there from before, is start slideshow. So if you're somebody who is, you know, maybe in corporate and you have a bunch of photos that you want to do a slideshow with with a phone or something like that, or maybe you're showing your whole family some really cool images and videos and such like that, uh, this is how you're able to create your uh, slideshow. Now, obviously you're gonna have more than like four photos, so this one's gonna go through pretty quick, but you can see that there was that whole auto replay once it was finished. So, you know, if you have a hundred photos you're showing off, the whole entire thing is gonna go through and then it'll actually start again. Feature number six is another version of sketch to image. Most people, when you think of sketch to image, you go inside of a photo and you actually start drawing or doing the option for sketch to image, and then it adds it to the image that you're looking at. You can actually just do it right here. You can just have a little fun, create a little doodle. You can actually press on the S Pen button and you can go right here to sketch to image. Or what you're able to do is you can open up your edge panel right here, sketch to image, and you just start drawing right here, kind of as if it was like a little pop-up note, right? So for this one, I'm just gonna draw like a heart and let's just put on like a little arrow. Now I'm not a good drawer, so obviously this is something that I should be using more often. But basically you have your pop art, you have sketch, illustration, watercolor, 3D cartoon. I'm gonna do this one as pop art. You just hit on generate. So Galaxy AI is going to generate a photo based off of this very uh, not well put together sketch. So this is what it came up with and this over here is the original shot. So you can see that there's like literally nothing that goes with this image, but just with the Galaxy AI, I'm able to go through and, and create some really cool pop art type stuff that kind of came through. Uh, what you're also able to do is if you go back to the very beginning, you can select this option. You can do like 3D cartoon, do another generate, see you know which one is the best that you would like to use and you can send to your friend or whatever. So this is fun because even though it's just a little bit of a heart with a little bit of an arrow, you know, it comes out with some really cool images. You can draw portraits or you can draw vehicles, whatever you would like, and it's going to create some really cool images for you. So this is probably one of the better ones. Obviously, I can't draw that. I am not talented enough. And if this is something that you do like, then this is where you can go to save. Also, what you can do is you can change the transparency. So if you want to bring your transparency down so you can still see your phone, you can do that. Also, uh, you can share this. Uh, you also have minimize. So if you just want to kind of bring this down a little bit because maybe something is happening, you're conversing or, uh, you know, communicating with somebody else, doing some text messages, you open this right back up and you're right back to where you can, you know, start drawing again. So this was just another version of the, uh, you know, sketch to image and you're able to just do it on your home screen right there rather than doing it inside of a photo as well where basically you're just adding something to the photo that you took which again is a super awesome feature but i wanted to cover this one here because this is another thing that you should definitely try in your samsung galaxy phone so hopefully you guys have appreciated this video if you did give it a big thumbs up don't forget to hit subscribe subscribe on the very bottom left hand side and if you like this video then more than likely you'll also like this video and i'll see you guys later